Hello and welcome to The Evil Within. Out of the choice between Alien Isolation and The Evil Within, you guys wanted to see this first. Pretty good choice. Well, they're both, they're both good choices really, but here we are. The Evil Within, it's just been released. I had a bit of trouble getting it started and getting the recording going. Uh, it's very sort of anti-recording software as I understand, but I have found a workaround, so here I am. And we're just going to go straight into the game, so uh, I'm going to disappear. You will see some face cam highlights at the end, if there are any. Here we go, the evil within. Alright then, adjust my brightness, what have I got to do? Okay, so the one in the middle is barely visible, so... Actually, about where it was, there, that'll, that'll do. Okay. Uh, I can reset settings and I can go back. How do I go forward? Enter again? Okay, why didn't you <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that? Casual or survival? Okay, these are the difficulties. I'm going to go with survival. Uh, it looks like you can't choose the uh, the hardest difficulty level until you've completed the game, which is kind of cool, kind of annoying. But, survival it is. Here we go. Okay, so needless to say, the game has just come out and uh, I haven't obviously had the opportunity to play it before. So this is going to be blind. And uh, I hope it's going to be a good blind playthrough. This game has got a lot of hype around it. It's got a lot to live up to. All units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy, 184. How about take a shot every time there's a horror cliche? So, Sorry, have one. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're going to have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. Said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already. Multiple homicides. That's always good. Oh, Maybe take a second shot. That doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. Third shot. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal. Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? One two seven, one two four. You know what? I'm going to stop doing that because you'll be blind drunk by the end of it. Connection. It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene? Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problem with Jim on a Deacon Memorial. Is there any... Uh. Ooh, radio interference as well? Oh, shit. Jesus! Whoa, whoa! Gee, careful! This is meant to be quite a long game. Don't ruin it for me. I don't want to quit game over. Come on. <laughs> Detective Kidman. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. That's a lot of police cars and an ambulance. But no police. They're all inside. Delightful. What do you make of it? Connolly, contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Okay. We're never gonna see him again, I bet. Okay. Chapter one, an emergency call. Oh. oh, I'm in the game. Okay, right, yeah. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Uh, the entire game's going to look like a cutscene because apparently these black bars on the top of the bottom, they won't go away. I guess they want you to go for a cinematic experience, even though we've got widescreen monitors and all that stuff. But, um, yeah. You can get rid of them, but you have to edit the command line and stuff like that, and apparently it can it's cause a lot of problems. Car. This is meant to be quite a poor port, actually, if I'm honest. So if there are any, like, FPS hiccups, I'm sorry. Um... It may be my system, it might not be though, that's the thing. It's still like the first version, so it's probably going to get patched no soon. Blood or shell casings out here. I guess they're all inside. I'm getting a pretty good Outlast feel from this game so far. Also Resident Evil. I've been told that uh, this has kind of been been made as a, as a mix of Resident Evil and Silent Hill. So you're meant to get the feel of a Silent Hill game, but you're meant to be playing as if you were playing, like, Resident Evil 4. It smells like blood. Alright. Stay sharp. 
That's gone to shit already. Oh yes, they're all dead. Okay. Check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You are a backup. Well, not much backup considering there was like there must have been about twenty or thirty police officers that are all dead. Maybe they're not all dead actually. These are these patients? Patients and nurses, I think. Uh, yes, I did. Maybe they're not all dead. Wait, where's he going? Oh, brilliant. Just split up straight away. Where's he gone? Someone alive in there? Whoa. Is he alive? Or did I just knock him? Shit. Oh, pretty cool so far. It looks quite nice. And yeah, it definitely has the uh, Resident Evil feel. Over the shoulder and everything. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. But it probably is. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Okay. That's my job, is it? Okay, you look after him. I'll look after the security cameras. Sure. Well. I'll probably just get more questions than answers, but here we go. These gunshots. Are they the police? Yeah, three police officers. They're still alive. Some of them are, anyway. That's good. Oh, God. Not for long. Holy shit, he's fast. Altair! Fucking hell, Altair. Oh, no. Okay. He's very, very quick. Seriously? I've been playing not, not even ten minutes, and... I'm screwed. <laughs> oh my god. And now I'm what well, I'm <laughs> hanging upside down dripping with blood. That didn't take long at all, did it? Bloody hell, I'm not the only one either. Wow. Okay. Oh, hanging from the ceiling. Up. Oh, hi. Oh, bloody hell. You look like you should be in Killing Floor. I'm gonna need that knife, aren't I? Oh shit, what the hell's happening? Okay, so it's not all in third person apparently, there's some first person segments as well, and oh, oh shit! That guy's getting the wrong side of a machete, poor bastard. I'm gonna need that knife, seriously. Can I swing over there or something? Can I... I don't know, untie myself? Maybe something on the floor? No? Shit. I can't look all the way to the left or right. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Don't want to end up like that guy. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! Did I mention this game's kind of gory? Because it is! Space repeatedly. Oh, the swing. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, quick time events. Everyone loves those. Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, I'm expecting good things from this game. Ah. Nice one, okay. Well, I haven't exactly escaped or anything, but I can begin my escape. I must be somewhere in the facility, right? Somewhere underground. Well, I guess the uh, the the black bars at the top and bottom kind of make sense if you're making a cinematic game. You, you sort of blend seamlessly between the gameplay and the cutscenes. Right, yes, I know how to sneak. I know how to sneak. Let's get away from him. Jesus Christ. There's a door here. What was it? E? F? Space. It's space, apparently. Oh, it's locked. locked. Shut. Oh, I'm gonna need a key, or need to find another door. Or I need to go up there or something. I don't know. Fuck. I should probably stay down, actually. These poor bastards. Do I have to go in there after him? Or or try and kill him? I've got the knife after all. I can't equip it or anything though. I, ooh, don't come this way. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's that hanging on the hook? There's something... What is this? Hang on, hang Oh, please don't see me. Ordinary keys! Okay, I found some ordinary keys. Hopefully that's gonna get me through that door. Let's go. 
Subtle as fuck. Nice, nice, nice. And he didn't suspect a thing. Okay, well, hopefully this is going to open up this door. Here. Yes. Yes, okay. Oh. This is meant to be quite a shoddy port, but so far so good. Okay, so, right, let's just keep to the ground. I don't know if sneaking just makes me harder to see, or maybe I'm a bit more quieter, but I want to stay to the ground. Oh, great. Look at that. This guy's just running a butcher's shop. He'll be down the market selling it tomorrow. This is absolutely crazy. Right, just... <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh. What the f... Shit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This guy's got a fucking chainsaw. Just keep going, man. Keep going. Space, 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 space. Right. What the... Oh! oh I've been stabbed in the back now. Oh, no, no, no. I can't die in the first video. Are you shitting me? Are you... Holy crap, what the fuck? Is this the facility or what? Don't examine. Go through it. Just fucking escape. Oh, my God. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh my God. I don't want to get minced meat. Don't make me into minced meat. Oh, my God. This game doesn't let up, does it? Oh. Yeah. Pretty gory game. Pretty gory. <laughs> Lovely. How's it taste? That is rather disgusting, i got to say. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Even, in, you know, now I'm thinking about the, the entirety of Outlast wasn't quite as gory as this. Not even the Whistleblower DLC. Jeez. Right. So I've been stabbed in the back by some, I don't know, insanely quick assassin. And I've just had my heel slashed out with a chainsaw by some guy who should be in Killing Floor. Good friggin' start, gotta say. Right, so what monstrosity is gonna be behind this door? A fan. Okay. Well, that's something, I suppose. Fuck. Which way are we going? Which way are we going? Left? Let's, let's go left. If I was a game designer, I'd put some sort of item or something down here. But I don't see anything. I'm pressing space and E and F and all the other use buttons that should work, but nothing. Okay, well, this is why I'm not a game designer, I suppose. Never mind, let's just keep going this way. Am I going to be limping the entire game? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. I don't know how I'm going to recover from that. Oh, shit. He's not, he's not chasing me, is he? Yeah, wash yourself off in all the piss and shit and whatever this is. Lovely. Right, let's get out of here, shall we? Good start, so I've got to say. I'm just wondering when when or if we're going to see the detectives again. Or if I'm even going to make it out of here alive. Probably not, the way it's looking right now. It's only been about 15 minutes. Right, let's go across here. Unlocked. Yes, good start, okay. Green barrels and some sort of machine down here. Can I use it? Nope. Nope, never mind. Okay, let's let's leave. I hope he's not chasing me. I guess not. Oh, a guy in a wheelchair. What's the bet he's still alive? Where's the exit? What's that in front of him? What is that in front of him? He's gonna jump scare me, isn't he? Maybe not. An old note from sewer. Okay. Beside the lock gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. And that's from R, whoever R is. Okay. Right. Can I go past you without you jumping at me? I guess so. The game's not exactly like Outlast, then. Let's go over here. Oh, hang on, maybe not. There's a door, but there's two... Well, there's... Yeah, there's bars all over it. Yeah, that's great. Whoa. I don't think I'm getting through here either. Look at all that. Is that like chains or barbed wire or something? Yeah, chains, barbed wire, padlocks. They really don't want me to go this way. 
My ordinary keys aren't going to get me through there. What about over here? Oh, there's two padlocks. Bloody hell. No, it's not going to happen. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. Through here, then? Yeah, the game looks pretty good. It definitely has the Resident Evil 4 feel. And 5, I suppose. I haven't played 6, actually. I've heard 6 wasn't very good. But, uh, yeah. I'm liking it so far. <laughs> you've got a bad heel, and you've got a climb, right? Yeah, that's great. What was with all the equipment upstairs? All that machinery that was, you know, designed to cut meat and nearly got me. Do they have, like, an on-site slaughterhouse or something? Maybe not. Maybe I've been moved somewhere else. Oh, hang on. There's another note over there by the PC. Bloody CRT monitor. What is this? The past? Okay, a boiler room note. Okay, so at uh, 1300, at 1 o'clock, STEM system operation test begins. At quarter past, success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Loss is minimal. Continue an experiment. Agent collects the data. At half past, anomaly occurs. Not with the subject. The stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the stem system terminated. Okay, and at quarter to two, staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after another. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital, but for unknown reasons are unable to. Though the stem system should have, been, uh, should have been deactivated, subjects maintain brainwave synchronization with the host. And uh, at two o'clock, he, that man, appeared. I'm wondering if they're talking about the one who sort of resembles Altair, who can sort of bend time and go insanely fast. Who, now I think about it, seeing as there's, as there's a lot of similarities with Resident Evil, may be related to Albert Wesker. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay. I don't really know how the save system works either. I don't know if I'm going to get any save points, or if it's just all checkpoints. Uh, either way works, I suppose. Let's keep going. Okay, okay. Right. This is just grim. Maybe there's something in here that I can I can use. Maybe I'm gonna find painkillers or something. Anything. Bandages. Oh, do I actually leave blood behind? Is that mine? That'd be kind of cool if I did. Don't know about that though. That might not be mine. What have we got in here? Try to think, really. I guess we're still in the facility somewhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, hide in the lock. Yeah, this is Outlast all over again. Hide in the lockers. Yep, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, and here comes the heartbeat. Please don't, like, force me to eject if it gets too high or something. Jesus Christ! That guy's strong. Did he see me come in here? I guess not. Oh shit, he's just going fucking ballistic in here. Destroying everything else in this room but this locker, thankfully. But maybe he's just saving me to last, I don't know. I've seen that a couple of times now. What does that icon mean? In the uh, in the centre on the right. Does that mean it's something to do with health? Can I leave now? Okay. Okay, he's through here. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's keep going. Let's limp across. I don't know. Oh no 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 no
Okay. He's very, very quick. Seriously? Space repeatedly? Oh, the swing. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, quick time events. Everyone loves those. Right, just... <gasps> oh, what was that? Oh. What the... Are you shitting me? Are you... At... Holy crap, what the fuck? Please don't, like, force me to eject if it gets too high or something. Jesus Christ!